is Earthwas, and welcome to How to Build Card Bots. And in this episode, we are making P1 from BattleBots Season 4. And um, yeah, so P1 is a robot. Um, here are the materials you're going to need you're going to need a pair of scissors, these instructions, probably some cardboard, um, ruler, this thingy, if you want to make nice circles possibly um a pencil orange pen or marker um green pen or marker black pen or marker gray pen or marker or you can just use a pencil some means of cutting a hole i both i think wait never mind i don't think so um if you want you could use gray duct tape to color something in um I think that's it. I'm not exactly sure. I'm pretty sure that's it. So let's get on to the next step. So you're actually going to take your instructions, copy it onto a piece of cardboard, and then color it and cut it out. Or copy it onto a piece of card, color it, um, duct tape the back, and copy and cu um, cut it out. So basically copying what I just did with the last thing, uh, if that makes any sense. Okay, anyway. Or taking a piece of card, coloring it. And, that, and copying everything from the piece of paper onto it and um, coloring it, obviously, reverse the order um, from what I first said. Um, and then gluing it onto a piece of cardboard and then cutting it out. So let's make the main body of P1, which is going to be interesting. Okay, um, let's get to that. Oh, yeah, sell tape. Okay, so tape. Um, oh, before then, uh, when I say like so, I mean practically like so, and when I... Um, Roll over a piece of tape onto the up onto another side. If your piece of tape is not long enough, just use a second second piece of tape. Anyway, or vice versa. Take a piece of tape, um, attach it on. Take um, this piece, or one of the other pieces that are like this, and you're just going to um, roll it over tape. And yeah, practically do the exact same thing over here. Okay, now let's take some more tape. Take some tape, attach it on to about here. Take one of these pieces, attach it on. Um, fold over your tape. Perfectly good example, vice versa, where you take another piece of tape and attach it on. Anyway, take some more tape. Or it could also be vice versa, I think. Wait, I'm confused. Okay, never mind. Hopefully you understand what I mean. Okay, then practically do the exact same thing over here. Um, yeah. Take some tape, fold it over. When I say said tape, I mean like the tape that I just took. Don't worry, call it said tape because it, I said practically. So anyway, take some more tape. Um, take said tape, attach it onto here. Because I was inferring that. Anyway, take said tape, attach it onto here, by, by uh, onto here by folding it. Um, take some more tape. Very important aspect of building these robots. Take said tape, attach it on. Fold up cardboard. Fold over tape. Take some more tape. Take said tape, attach it on. Fold up cardboard, fold over um, tape, take some more tape, take some tape, attach it on, um, fold it over, yep, okay, so, take some more tape, okay, take some tape, attach it on to this piece, and then you're just going to attach this on to about here, line it up fairly well, about like so, fold up tape, and then, bend this practically like so, inwards, um, take some more tape, take some tape, attach it on to about here, um, I'm gonna try to get this to attach pretty well, and then you're just gonna fold down your tape, take some more tape, um, take some tape, attach it onto the side, fold this kind of inwards, kind of not, um, not sure what that actually meant, but anyway, um, yeah, fold it over, practically like so, um, take some more tape, um, yeah, fold over tape, um, yeah, so, this is the main body of P1, take some, and now let's make the wedge-ish attachments and some other attachments onto it, so, let me grab those pieces, okay, now, P1 is a front hinge flipper, now, um, I have one other front hinge flipper, flipper, and that is Firestorm, and I actually made this based off Anderson 312's, um, 
front hinge flipper design and um, I made this with Lego so I decided to try to do this without using Lego so just two fixed and cardboard and I came up with this kind of thing so basically what you're going to do is cut um, so basically once you've designed this kind of thing you're going to make a hole in the back of he here and you're going to make an um, a hole that allows it to leave two fixed sized hole about here so I'll be back with the holes done hopefully Okay, so um, from here, you're basically just going to take some tape, attach it to the back of here, and basically attach this to here on the front, fold over tape, practically like so. And yeah, but um, it should hopefully work. Um, anyway, um, hopefully my front hinge, hopefully the front hinge flipper works at Firestorms. Um, I'm not exactly sure it will, so we'll see. But hopefully it does. Um, anyway, so take some more tape. Take some tape, attach it to um, this piece of cardboard. And you're just going to take the P1 piece over here, as I'm going to call it. And you're just going to take it. And you're also going to reinforce the inside, like so. Take some more tape. Take some tape and attach it to a piece of, a car of this piece of cardboard. Uh, one of these pieces of cardboard. Um, you can sh that's basically how you're going to choose your s which side, but anyway, um, you're going to attach it, and you're basically just going to attach it onto here, practically like, s practically like so, take some more tape, and practically do the exact same thing on the inside, um, then you're practically going to do the exact same thing with this piece of cardboard on the opposite side, so it didn't really matter which one you chose. Okay, so take some more tape, attach it onto about here. Then you're just going to touch it over to here, and you're just going to fold down your tape, practically like so. Take some more tape. Sorry if the camera was not in that good view of it. Anyway, that great view of a view of it. Anyway, you're going to attach it to this triangle, basically, practically like so. And yeah, so we're going to just put these to the sides to attach to the actual main model. And let's get to the back of the model. And, um... This is going to be an interesting problem, I realize. This piece, just going to bend these pieces basically like so. This goes on the back of the robot. Huh. Okay, well, you know what that means. Cut a hole in basically the center of this thing. So, um, yeah. Okay, so once you've done that, basically you're just going to insert it through the tape pick. Probably want to bring this quite a bit back. Anyway, um, you're going to fold your tape practically like so. Take some more tape. When I say tape, I meant the cardboard. Anyway, take some more tape. Okay, so take said tape, attach it to round here. So with this bend, you're just going to t fold in your tape practically like so. Take some more tape and practically do the exact same thing. Now, um, as you can see with my model, I did not do this the best. Um, so I try to line it up a bit better than mine. Probably a lot better than mine. But, yeah, okay. Anyway, um, yeah, so take some more tape. So take some tape, attach it to one of these little square pieces, and basically you're just going to attach it around here. Basically reinforce the inside, and then you're practically going to do this twice because you're practically going to do the exact same thing on across from it with this piece so i'll be back okay so then um you're basically just going to fold in these kind of like orange tablet pieces on the ends of, of these if when you're where you colored them in and yeah so now you have like this design take some more tape and tape it onto these little things okay so take some tape attach it to the bottom of this and you're going to take this, but you're going to line this up with the actual front hinge flipper. Basically attach it like so. Um, yeah, take some tape. And you're basically just going to um, tape this onto here. And, yeah. So, um, do this. Okay, so now take some more tape. Take some tape, attach it onto the front of here, and then um, you're going to want to have this bent back in a wedge shape when you attach the tape onto here. 
so kind of works doesn't work as best as I hoped it would but okay um, yeah so take some more tape so take some tape attach it onto one of these triangle pieces um, you're going to attach it to the side of here basically practically and you're just gonna kind of angle it in taking some more tape and yeah attaching it on and you're practically gonna do the exact same thing over here okay so this model works kind of you can see that kind of a shrug from the back but you're gonna kind of have to, I kind of have to use my finger to close it that well well enough um, probably nowhere near as powerful as, um, Firestorm's front hinge flipper. Definitely my best flipper. But, it, it came out actually pretty nice. I like the design. It came out nice. Um, I do have some problems with it. The wedge, definitely not low, as low as I wanted it to be. Again, the front hinge flipper had some problems with that. This seems a bit too front forward, but you could always edit that by just adding it a bit back, more farther back. But, other than that, I think it came out pretty nice, so... Um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, my tablet is most likely going to die very quickly, and that is the device I use to film these videos. I just realized I have never said that before, I think. Um, so I probably can't film Quantum and Petunia today, but I'll do that probably tomorrow. And by the time this video is out, it probably will be tomorrow anyway. So goodbye.